Well, good morning, Dave Langsetter of violinresearch.com. And been doing a, a uh, period of violin acoustical research. And um, this is sort of an interesting thing that's come up um, in trying to get a uh, better tone, uh, more engaging sound from the violin. And so what has come up is that the tuning of the um, pins, of the tuning pins, It's a certain uh, note series there. Is when you tune the um, each tuning peg, it determines the frequency, the side tap frequency. Okay, so it's a, and it's the same sequence you hear. So it's high note, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, lowest. High note, a bit lower, a bit lower, lowest. So I'm going to take the pegs out, lay them right down here. Now tap across. Um, they're, they're all the same. Now if I put the E peg in, and that determines the frequency of the G string. So and if I put the A peg in, then that determines the next string over G D. So it's those two are the same. And we put in the D. And that's going to uh, the D peg, and that'll turn with GDA. So now it's and as this is just that common and the G. Now it's there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going down. So this determines a low one here and determines a high one there. So we're going high to low, high to low. Okay, so that arrangement, and that came out of um, an investigation of, uh, again, the bridge. And it started with the uh, work a, a physicist um, from Finland. I did three years of his retirement uh, working on bridges, trying to understand how tuning, shaping these holes uh, could make a difference in the tone of the strings. And he found out tuning the kidney shape here actually affects this string. Tuning the kidney shape here affects that, uh, this string, so it's the opposite ones. And so one thing or another, that led the idea that, you know, this could be a crossing. So. It ends up that uh, the best sounding on the bridge is when you have this kind of a side tap here. You can hear it better on the soundboard here. So they're the same, <clears throat> and it ends up on the. Um, bridge, the uh, feet are involved in this too. So it was kind of a, a research project to find out what the tuning of the feet should be. And it ended up being a certain frequency here and a certain frequency there. Um, one, two, three, four. So what this frequency of the foot is over here determines the opposite corner and this first string. What the frequency of the foot over here ends up being the opposite corner and the first 
um, which is also the first string. So when you're tuning the kidney, you want to make this um, match, this one match, and then here it's this one above and that one above, and it also produces that same sequence. And guess what? <clears throat> so I said, well, if that's the case, maybe it'll make the violin sound better if we also do the tailpiece. <clears throat> and so, well, okay. And the strings, of course, touch the string bar. And then they uh, go through the hole here, and that locks them in place. <clears throat> so, if you notice here, and it's the opposite for the hole. So the shape, believe it or not, of this hole determines the side tap frequency for the um, G string. And the shape of this hole determines the frequency here, and the shape of that hole determines the frequency there. shape of the G string determines the frequency over here. So if when they're all tuned, you end up with And you can find out, uh, read more about it on the website, which is violinresearch.com. <clears throat> and on the home, home page, there's a box comes down that says, um, things not well known in the violin world. And there'll be a description about that uh, on all three phases of this. So I just want to share with that with you. It seems like it's an interesting acoustical effect and that this relationship seems to be the ideal one for the better sound on the violin. Okay, thank you.